Well, hey there, everybody. Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, I'm really excited because we're going to do the full field test and review on the Wolf Pax 2. That's what we have here today. We're going to get out there and really use and abuse these two items. This is a piggyback system that comes on a Kydex sheath you'll see here in just a moment that Tops Nyes has produced. And their kind of philosophy behind this kind of setup is that they give you a little lightweight neck knife to be able to do all your light bushcraft tasks, feather stick making, game processing, and food prep. And then they give you a lightweight hatchet to be able to do all of your small tree falling and wood splitting for a fire and kind of heavier duty tasks. And they give it to you all piggybacked into one system so you don't have to go out there and buy a bunch of different items you know and you can just buy one kit throw it in your bug out bag throw it in your you know backpacking kit bushcraft kit whatever and it'll do a plethora of things for you so we're gonna get out here today I'm gonna show you the not only the specs on these items but also the ins and outs and really thrash on these items after having had a chance to really use them and we're gonna find out whether or not this kit the, the wolf packs 2 kit is gonna be worth a purchase for you so let's get out there look at the specs and begin to use these items all right, let me give you some basic specs here on this hatchet, and then we'll get into using this item. What you have is from the bottom to the top, a length of 10.2 inches. It is a quarter inch thick, 1095 high carbon steel. Very nice there. Micarta handle slabs that we'll talk about in the ergonomics a little bit later. Then you have a back pommel here that acts not only as a good catch for um, wooden you know stakes and pegs like that it's not going to do a great job when it comes to steel rods because it's not or you know steel tent pegs just because it's a thinner uh, axe head but you know wooden uh, wooden tent pegs it can absolutely hammer in no problem then you kind of got a rounded off pommel there with some other uh, lashing points then as we move towards the head here you have a 3.1 inch actual cutting edge with a very high saber grind so it's gonna, we're gonna test it out here and you're gonna see in just a moment how it can split and chop and all those things. But 3.1 on the cutting edge and then you have a secondary beard edge right here that they call it the beard, which is 1.75 inches and that is sharpened as well. And this hatchet weighs in at 19 ounces. So those are the basic specs for you on this Wolfpacks 2 hatchet. Now let's start testing this sucker out and using it out there in the field. All right, how about the splitting capabilities with this hatchet? You know, the hatchet's got to be able to split some wood since you're not going to be able to baton with it. And I got to tell you guys, at first, I wasn't really expecting a lot. You know, weighs 19 ounces, quarter inch thick. Most axes or hatchets have just a thicker, wider head. But I got to tell you, as you can see from the footage, this thing was epic in its ability to split medium to small wood. I mean, I was so impressed. It can absolutely crack that stuff open, no problem. It's that very high saber grind, just makes it a really nice wedge, and it can just, boom, split that stuff right in two, and uh, very impressive. I was literally shocked, and it was a, a blast to use this hatchet in that capacity. And basically, if it's about six five and a half to six inches in diameter or less you're going to absolutely without too much trouble be able to crack this sucker open and uh, i definitely am seeing the value of a hatchet over a, a knife for batoning not that batoning is not fun and that we won't continue to do it here on the channel but uh with one strike you can get a really good split straight down the middle i mean that is so impressive even golf stance boom cracks it right open and uh just a blast to use so when it comes to splitting capabilities does this hatchet have it Absolutely. This thing is a phenomenal splitter of wood when it comes to medium to light splitting. You can absolutely do it with this hatchet and it's going to do an amazing job. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the chopping capability as well as the ergonomics here on this little hatchet. This little hatchet has a lot of power coming behind it with that 19 ounces that it has. And with that micarta handle, you can see here I wear large size gloves. You can see I can get a really good grip on there. And what I did was, and what I love the fact that they designed this hatchet this way, is they give you that lanyard hole, but then this has a really good raise with the micarta handle scales, making it easy for me to make this kind of loop over design similar to what we did with the Silent Hero from Tops, so that now I can get my hand in there and my hand is going nowhere. That's the most play that I'm ever going to get with this hatchet as I'm chopping, and it's very ergonomic when I do that. If I don't do that, then the hatchet wants to fly out of my hand pretty quick just because it has that kind of classic straight handle like a lot of older wood-handled hatchets. So if you, wanted, if you want to get really good motion and chopping power with this, 
this hatchet. I really recommend that you do this kind of loop over design. Fantastic when you do it this way. And then the power with that 19 ounces, like I said, and then that high saber grind was amazing, guys. This can absolutely hold its own and do anything. Uh, I'd, I'd, large wilderness knife of its similar size and weight like a BK9, uh, you know, an RTAC2, uh, the SP50, those type of things are going to be able to chop the same as this hatchet, if not this hatchet, hatchet being even better than those. So I was very impressed with its uh, chopping capability. It was absolutely able to do anything I would expect out of a small hatchet like this and can definitely hold its own and in some ways is even better than the Mora that we've tested out here, the Mora Camp Axe, and can almost chop as well as as the Fiskars X7, which is definitely a lot heavier than this 19 ounce hand axe. So guys, when it comes to chopping capability, this is absolutely gonna do all of the medium to lightweight chopping you would ever need and you would ask of any large wilderness knife, you know, survival knife, or of a small hatchet, this thing can do it and do it really well with really good ergonomics as long as you do that uh, loop handle design there with that lanyard makes it a phenomenal chopper and will absolutely do all the chopping tasks you may need. The ergonomics as well are good on this hatchet for carving and detail work. You can just grab it around the neck very comfortably, lay your finger along the head, and then do a simple hammer push cut, and you can absolutely get feather stick making done. It will absolutely bite in there real well, and it's not a huge head on the hatchet, so you're able to grab it without really cramping your hand. You can get those real nice fine feather sticks made if need be with this hatchet and you know get that fire prep on top of all the chopping that you may have done to help you start a fire if you need to with this hatchet, as well as that sharpened secondary beard edge. That secondary edge is able to, if you do kind of a reverse pull cut, get feather sticks making and shaving done as well. So you can kind of use it in both directions and it is absolutely able to and is capable enough to help you get that finer detailed work done as well as your heavy duty chopping and splitting. It can absolutely get that stuff done as well and you know if your wolf pup knife that it also comes with was damaged lost whatever you could absolutely if you needed to rely on this hatchet to do the finer detailed work and it would absolutely get the job done all right guys let's go ahead and look at the sheath and detail here on the wolf packs 2 kit it's a piggyback system kydex always got to love that and you got your wolf pup up here with that real nice little thumb ramp very easy for you to pull your knife out click it back into place right there where it needs to be. This rotates 360 degrees. Now you cannot with more de once I went into it a little bit more, I cannot tighten this thing to make the retention tighter or looser with how it spins. So basically the the speed in which it spins and the retention on this Kydex loop for the Wolf Pup cannot be changed unless you can basically take the whole thing apart, then you can try and maybe start jacking with it. But as it stands, you can't really tighten down how much it spins. So then as we go on to the axe itself you got this nice little leather loop here with a button keeps it in place real nice and snug there so all you have to do is pop that open grab the neck right here tilt down and pull out then you have your axe ready to go then when it's time to put it back you just kind of go in at the same angle click it in and it's a little tricky there we go got to play with it a little bit you got to practice basically to get it but there you go and then it's got the well-known uh, steel loop that loops around your belt that tops is known for you can see there it just fits really well i hiked all the way up here with it on my hip and it felt great i didn't feel like i had this big huge you know item on my hip trying to you know lob it up the hill basically i was very quick getting up the hill and felt very comfortable i could definitely do several several miles of hiking with this setup on my hip without any problem either worrying about it falling off and losing it and it's all right there real quick and easy to be grabbed and i can move around my campsite so very good kydex sheath setup and i'm really digging this piggyback system with the wolf packs 2 kit all right, guys, I want to talk to you real quick about the Wolf Pup knife and kind of show it to you in action. I'm not going to do a full review on it. Earlier in the week, we did a full field test and review on this knife. I will have a link in the description below of this video so you can watch that full field test and review if you want to get more information on this knife. In this video, I'm just going to talk a lot more concept and philosophy of what this Wolf Pup offers you in conjunction piggybacked onto this hatchet. So with that being said, I'll just give you some basic specs here on this knife first off to get us kind of going here. What you have from the tip to the back is a length of 5.25 inches. It weighs in at 3.1 ounces, has micarta handle scales made out of 1095 high carbon steel. It is an eighth of an inch thick, 
Real nice there. High saber grind with a two and a half inch actual cutting edge. So that's what you're getting with this little wolf pup. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit the philosophy and show it to you in action. All right, guys. So now that we've gone over the specs, what this the idea with this wolf pup knife is that your hatchet is able to do all your heavy stuff. Then you still have right there in this same system a smaller knife that is able to do all of your smaller, finer tasks a lot easier than a hatchet would. And I got to tell you that the wolf pup absolutely accomplishes that and will absolutely help you with all of your smaller bush survival tasks, hunting tasks even. You know, this can def definitely go through food very, very easily because of its thin blade. It's able to process either game or fruit or meat or whatever around a campsite or on a hunting trip very easily. Great for that type of stuff with that really nice blade and sweep up. And then, uh, you know, bushcraft tasks really, you know, feather stick making is going to do a great job. It can absolutely make those really nice fine feather stick making, particularly when you have it in that hammer grip kind of push cut design. Then just normal cutting tasks, you know, making a spear. You can absolutely do that, doing some minor notching. The knife is absolutely able to accomplish that. Uh, when you are looking for you know that type of work to be done and you don't want to use your hatchet to get that stuff done this wolf pup is absolutely going to be able to do that now yes there are other knives out there in this kind of neck knife size that i would have preferred with this kit uh, you know, maybe the top shango the tops taibo the msk 2.5 uh, you know something like that i probably would have preferred a little bit more and again i'm not going to go into a lot of detail you can watch the full field test and review on the wolf pup itself but um when it comes to the task, it can absolutely get it done. I'm able to get a good grip on it. And when it comes to getting finer work done, this Wolf Pup is absolutely able to do it. And I can take this kit on its own. I don't need another neck knife. I don't need another fixed blade. I got a hatchet. I got a fixed blade. I can just take that up on a hiking trip. I can throw it in a bug out bag, whatever. And I know that I can basically any task that comes my way from the smaller, finer stuff to the heavy duty chopping and splitting and, and you know, fire prep and shelter building, I'm going to be able to cover it when I'm rocking the Wolf Pup. Packs 2 kit with this hatchet and with this wolf pup knife. So that's kind of the idea and the philosophy with this knife. And I think that this knife can absolutely uh, take care of any task and fit the bill as that companion tool to get the smaller detailed work done when you're looking for that in a kit. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the value of this kit and what you're getting for your money. I don't want to break it down for you. We're going to use Amazon as our plumb line today so that it kind of gives us a, you know, a nice plumb line on the value of things. And uh, last I checked on Amazon, obviously prices change, but last time I checked on Amazon, you can buy the Wolfpacks 2 kit for $158. So this is how we'll break it down. You can buy the Wolf Pup itself on its own, the knife, if you so desire. And last I checked on Amazon, that was $58. And I think that that's a very good value for the money for the knife that you're getting. Again, you can watch the full field test and review on the Wolf Pup if you want more information on that. But $58 for the knife itself. So if we subtract $158 and $58, we get $100. So basically you're paying $100 for the hatchet. So I looked around and I wanted to kind of compare it to other hatchets that are full tanged with handle scales. I didn't want to do hatchets that have, you know, a uh, steel head and wood handle or some sort of polymer handle. I was looking for very similar hatchets that are full tanged and some form of high carbon. So I could only really find two other hatchets of similar size and dimensions. One is the Ontario RD Hawk. That's their uh, tomahawk that they make. And that one will run you right around $80, but it is made out of 1075 steel instead of 1095 steel. And it comes with a nylon sheath instead of the Kydex sheath that this uh, hatchet comes with. And then I also, the only other one that I could really find was the Condor Knife and Tool Soldier Axe, new for 2014. In fact, we're going to try and get our hands on it at some point and review it next to this hatchet. But uh, that, that hatchet, very similar in size, full tang, you know, micarta handle scales, but that has a nylon sheath again, and it is 1075, and that's going to cost you around 70 bucks. So uh, this 1095 hatchet, I believe, is a great value because if you know anything for, about condor knife and tool and anything about Ontario, sometimes the fit and finish can be a little off, you know, grind angles are a little weird, and maybe the coating isn't fantastic. Then on top of that, we're talking about 1095 over 1075, and we're talking about a Kydex sheath over a nylon sheath. So in my opinion, $100 for the hatchet, $58 for the uh, Wolf Pup knife makes this thing a great value. There's no complaints. I have zero complaints with the value of this uh, kit, and if you are looking for a small neck knife and a hatchet, you're going to get a great bang for your buck with this product. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this video here for you with this Wolfpacks 2 kit. And I got to tell you, I highly recommend this setup. It's so much fun to use. It's very high quality and I love it. I mean, it just gets done everything that you would need to. You know, the hatchet can absolutely do all those heavier duty wood chopping, processing, campfires, shelter building. The knife can absolutely do all the finer detailed work, though the knife may not be necessarily my favorite in the neck knife, you know, category. It definitely gets gets the job done and uh, very reliable and really, you know, no complaints. It just, it's more of a preference thing for me. I just prefer other neck knives over the wolf pup. But I mean, it, it, when it's there on you and you got the hatchet and the knife, really, I find myself, I mean, why do I need another knife with me? This setup covers it all and I'm good to go. So I absolutely recommend this setup very fun to use, really reliable, and just a, a great thing, you know, to, to own and to, you know, get out there in the woods and do bushcraft and that type of stuff. In fact, I love it so much. I'm going to keep this one as my wilderness setup. Then I'm going to buy two more of these kits. I'm going to buy one for my bug out bag that goes in my vehicle. And I'm going to buy one for my wife's bug out bag that goes in her vehicle. So I'm going to get two more of these because it's just no brainer. You have the two items right there, full tanged, tough, durable, the quality that we know from tops. I mean, it, it, it really is a phenomenal setup, guys, and I really can't say enough about it. Seriously, seriously, you will see a lot more of this kit in videos because uh, as we you know review other gear, you know maybe packs and other knives and different things because it just gets so much done for you and you really don't need to have another knife or hatchet or wood processing tool when you have the Wolf Packs 2 kit. So with all that being said, guys, I really hope that this video has helped you out with your purchasing decisions. If you're looking for that piggyback system of a small hatchet and a knife, look no further than the Wolf Packs 2 kit. I think you will not be sorry with owning this setup and I think you're going to get a lot of use and a lot of enjoyment with the Wolf Packs 2 kit. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.